it's time to make an apple pie. But first, I'll make a drink. One shot of Fireball. And if you haven't had this, get it. Honey crisp apple cider. Give it a mix. Oh, so good. Okay, back to the apple pie. We need eight cups of sliced apples, which I'm going to start peeling and slicing. Poof, just like that. I spared you the time of slicing and peeling eight cups of apples. Put your eight cups of apples in your mixing bowl. Make sure you get them all after all that hard work. Okay, we are going to put heavy half a cup of granulated sugar, one quarter cup of flour, heavy teaspoon of cinnamon, Heavy teaspoon of nutmeg. That's it. Stir it up. Give it a good stir. Oh, and a pinch of salt. Okay. Get that all mixed up in there real good. Nutmeg likes to clump up a little bit, so sometimes you gotta like break up the little pieces of nutmeg. Okay. should smell this. Just make it and you'll smell it. So then you don't have to hear me tell you that you should smell it. You will smell it. Okay. Don't know if you, you know what? It's not gonna be a bowl of darkness. It's gonna be apple delight. Okay. made pie crust or you can buy ready crust. I've used ready crust. It works. It's easy. This is easy too. I will try and put the video for my pie crust somewhere on this. If it's not there just look on my about page or whatever and I'm pretty sure you'll see the easy pie crust video. You should have preheated your oven to 425. I don't ever tell people to preheat your oven. Okay. These will cook down a little bit, so if you're up over the top a little bit, definitely not going to hurt nothing. In my pie recipe, the recipe is for this piece, so I had to do it twice. We're going to see how this goes. Try rolling it up on there. Somewhere around there like that. As I've mentioned in my previous videos, I am not an artist. I make no claim to that. But, it always tastes good for some reason. Might not be the prettiest. heavier crust, you're, this is the part where you can build it up if you want to. Because it's a double, I'm not going to do that. After I peel these off of here, I'll have to come back and start pressing it together to seal it up. There's going to be a couple spots I see that, and this stuff really it works like Play-Doh. It's awesome. I love this. I love this pie crust. I just did a chicken pot pie just the other day with this same pie crust and it works great.
pictures, anything hanging off doesn't fall in the oven and burn and stink and all that good stuff. Okay, now. I forgot. Butter's awesome though. I'm gonna take a butter knife here, put a little incision in the middle. I'm gonna try and do like a little sunshine thing here. A couple little slices here, a couple little slices there. Again, no artist, no claim to it. Just gonna put some slices in it. That way you can breathe while it's baking. Now, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of sugar over the top of it. This will be really pretty when it comes out. Okay. There's no measurement to that either. Cinnamon, you gotta love cinnamon. If you don't love cinnamon, I apologize. I love cinnamon. So there's a punch that I prepare without cinnamon. Or lemon. That got a little carried away. It's okay. Okay, a little more nutmeg. Okay, put this in your oven for 40 to 50 minutes. But after about 35 minutes, you're going to want to put, you can use foil or you can use one of these over your dough, over your crust to keep the outside of your crust from burning. It's going in the oven. We'll be back soon. Okay, here it is. Just got it out of the oven about 20 minutes ago. It's sitting, smelling beautiful. Not going to cut into it till tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. So, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.